Gabon engaged actively in the Red Plus negotiations from 2005 onwards. We worked through consensus within the UNFCCC to, 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 to formalize the process and then to design the methodologies. We have now, based on a reference period between 2000 and 2009, demonstrated clearly with very good science that we have reduced our carbon emissions from 2010 to 2018 compared to that previous 10 year period by 90 million tons. So, so we, have, we have created 90 million tons of red plus, pure red plus credits. We can say it in another way, because we're a carbon positive nation, we absorb more CO2 than we emit. We've actually increased our net absorption of CO2 by those 90 million tons. So we've actually, in that 10 year period, we've absorbed a billion tons of CO2 out of the atmosphere. And through the Red Plus methodology, the world, the UNFCCC, is about to award us 90 million tons of, of Red Plus credits. When we set up our science, our, our, our data collection, we did everything at a national level. There are no hectares of forest in Gabon that are unmanaged. They're either in a national park or they're in a forestry concession or a community forest. We monitor carbon emissions and carbon sequestration across the whole of Gabon. Having done the science, we created an Earth Observation Agency. We sent 10 Gabonese people away to do PhDs and analysis of satellite imagery and so on and monitoring deforestation. We went from being able to do a 10-year evaluation of deforestation to being able to do an annual evaluation of deforestation. We went from using scientific plots that were not randomly positioned across our nation to putting a network of carbon plots randomly placed across the entire of the Gabonese nation. With living, breathing carbon credits, the carbon credits we create in the rainforest, it's a little bit like a, a fine um, Bordeaux wine. A Bordeaux wine produced in 2022 is not worth the same as a wine produced in 1990 because they mature over time. And these rainforest carbon credits, which are living, gradually accumulate biodiversity over time. So you have carbon credits that are actually maturing and becoming better value over, over time. These are biodiversity positive credits using a methodology that was approved by consensus by almost 200 countries. For every ton of carbon credit that the system gives to us, awards to us, because the UNFCC system is actually pretty tough, we've actually absorbed 10 tons of CO2 out of the atmosphere. So if you buy one ton, you get 10 tons of net absorption out of the atmosphere. These carbon credits are the best carbon credits out there on the market.